we show two different things here from Moblin for the car. One of them is uh, a, a hands-free dialer, which mostly just shows um, what we would do in a UI for the car. God, it's so cool. This is your UI for the car. We not include a mouse. Right, we hope. <laughs> so, you know, finger touch little stuff. It would pull in contact, so it would pull in contacts from your existing contacts database. Right, because you're not going to have a keyboard in the car to enter and all this stuff either. Right. So, which processor? Adam. Yeah. You're going to ask me which one. I don't remember. It's a bit. It's a E-Men level. This is embedded, embedded Mendel. Frosty Pops. <laughs> Uh, so this is, this is a reference platform for the car, and it, it has, as a reference platform, it has interconnects to the CAN and most bus, not a lot of specific buses and stuff. Is this on commercial release? No. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I mean, we're working with all the automotive manufacturers to... Ladies and gentlemen, the technology showcase is now closed. Technical sessions will begin in 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the technology showcase is now closed. Yeah, so that's technical session. It right so, sort of what I'm showing here as a, as a demo, right? It assumes a connected car. And that can be done over 3G tethering to an existing phone. It can be done over WiMAX. It's up to. It's it's up to. It's a, actually the reference platform has Ethernet, which is actually out on the show floor, as well as Wi-Fi. But as you're driving down the road, you know, you can constantly switch yeah. your hotspots and stuff like that. Like it should be, yeah, it should be YMAX or 3G or whatever, right? It should be. Um, and that's going to that's going to depend on the automotive manufacturer what they want to connect to and what service agreements you're going to have in place, and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, we promote YMAX. We would love to see people with YMAX in different cars. But YMAX is worldwide, yet, so. So this is uh, this is actually using Bluetooth. So we has an open source stack. Uh, you know, we uh, the first okay, sure. All right. You guys are probably as interested in the Bluetooth stuff with the dialer because you guys are interested in mapping stuff. So I'll show you a couple things we did interestingly on the map. So you guys don't do mapping applications; you just provide data, right? right. So. This is, I keep talking, but talking. we work with our partners. Too. Yes, we would love to yeah. work with you with exactly. your partners to right. do some of the stuff. So now it's an open source mapping application. We used it because we can modify it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it turn, in turn uses open street maps. Mm -hmm. But it could okay. use a richer source of data, mm -hmm. like what you guys provide. Um, what we've done to sort of show. But open street maps, I thought uses us. Okay. Well, open street maps is user created map content. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's full. You, you can go in there, and mm. it's, it's, it's a wik, it's the Wikipedia of maps. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so to sort of show that what a connected car would do, you know, in terms of navigation, we can do your, again read your contacts database. Um, we can take so your contacts would be synced uses sync ML from an online service or from device to device sync. Um, those contacts typically have addresses. We can use GeoClue to uh, take a address and turn it into a lat long and send and put it on the map. So I, I picked Andy Marks, so now, now Andy Marks shows up as a contact on my on my map. So we got that. And then, so if the car is driving around with a GPS uh, receiver and a, wire, uh, uh, and a connection to the internet, right? Now we could actually think about online services where I could do sort of like Twitter where here's people who I'm allowed to, to know where, who, here's people who I'm interested in knowing where they're at and here's people who are allowed to know where I'm at. So if we're going to go to dinner and I can say, well, I'd like to see where you're at now. And then I can track you on the map and if I see you're going somewhere that else, it's like, oh, maybe we didn't agree on the right on the right restaurant. Maybe you're going to a different, you know, Olive Garden or whatever than I am. So we can make sure that we meet up, right? So sort of having that interconnected social, social aspect. So for a demo, to sort of show a little bit more about that, we also did, um, we created this web track, it needs a better name, but uh, this is actually logging into Twitter, uh -huh. wow. configured, and, and Moblin includes uh, what we call the Mojito libraries. Right, I went them. to that other one too. Yeah. So, um, so this is logging into Twitter, and these are the people I follow on Twitter, and uh, this Nom Nom truck, right, they change locations and stuff. 
it's a gourmet food truck, so this caught on really big in LA, I guess. Okay. Um, some of these food service trucks have gotten 4,000 followers on Twitter before they even started driving their trucks around. Uh, so the Nom Nom truck says, you know, so I might, I might want to know where they're at today, so I just click map, and they'll go off and get the last tweet from, from that account. So it says come and get us, and they just they just do a standard. There's nothing special geolocated or anything. They just do a standard tweet. It says come and get your grilled pork bon mai at Fourth and King. Okay, well Fourth and King isn't enough, right? So then we look at the, the Twitter profile, and oh, they're, in their profile they've said their location is San Francisco. Well Fourth and King in San Francisco, we can figure that where sure. that is. And so now the Nom Nom truck shows up on the map over here. So that's the. So how far away do you think we're from this, or at least some alpha version? Um, we actually expected to do a sort of alpha version of mobile and IVI uh, here at IDF. Um, the, we have a couple of different issues with the graphics uh, system, um, which made us not do a, a public release. It's available, actually, you see I have my card. If you go to mobile.org slash, if you email me, I'll give you this, this sort of more hidden URL. And you can download the mobile and IVI stack and play with it. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, which actually has all of the demo stuff that I've demoed is, is, is already built in. Great. Thanks so much. Take care. It was awesome.